Jessie Draper, the Valley Girl. Valley Girl. Let's talk business. I'm like the Valley Girl. Dave McClure is an entrepreneur and prominent angel investor based in the San Francisco Bay Area who founded and runs the business incubator 500 Startups. He's wild, crazy, and a whole lot of fun. Well, here we are with Dave McClure of 500 Startups, which is incredible. And we're in Singapore. We're incredible. <laughs> uh, we're in Singapore. Awesome food, awesome people. I love Singapore. What do you like most about Singapore? Uh, the food. The food. <laughs> Did I mention the food? The food, the food is fantastic. It's Absolutely. kind of like this Euro Asian fusion. It's good. It's, it's good. We went to the Newton Center good. last night. I just like ate myself like silly. silly. It was great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, we're at Tech Venture. Exactly. And um, I assume you're looking at companies. We we are. We have a few investments in Singapore, and we might uh, have a few more. Although there's actually people from all over East Asia here and so, Southeast Asia. Well, you tell me what is 500 startups. What is, uh, we're a floor wax, we're a dessert topping. Um, <laughs> sorry, no, we're, uh, we're an internet seed fund in Silicon Valley. Uh, our first fund was $29 million. We're working on our second fund. Uh, although my lawyers say I'm not supposed to talk about that. Okay. Um, and, so you're uh, fundraising. I don't, I, we can neither confirm nor deny the existence of our nuclear weapons. Okay. Right. Shh. <laughs> uh, hi, SEC. I'm not talking to you at all. Um, what else are we doing? Okay, so we're uh, we're a venture capital fund, uh, and we also run an accelerator program in Silicon Valley, uh, which actually, is great. And thank you. Yes. I, I hope so. And I have a question: Have you invested in five hundred startups? Uh, not quite. We're we're sort of lying about that. We've only invested in about four hundred companies so far. Oh, only four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> just just a few more. Just, just a few more. Do you have a goal for when to hit five hundred, um, or is there it, is it the amount or the quality? It it is a brand, not a goal. Okay. Uh, so we will probably invest in a lot more than five hundred companies. But uh, indeed, it looks like we'll probably hit company 500 sometime next year, at which point we'll throw a big ass party. Okay, can I come? <laughs> you certainly can, <laughs> you certainly can. So I was curious, um, you've you've invested in so many companies. I mean, it's incredible. We do? And it's- Well, we'll see whether it's well, incredible or not in an economic basis. I mean, basis I, think, I think you're gonna be a really interesting study for angel investors everywhere. I, I hope I am still alive when they are doing that study. <laughs> but, um, so say you've invested in 400, like you just sure. told me. How do you keep track of them all? Like, how do you, how, uh, how do you organize yourself? That is a challenge. We probably do uh, about 150 investments a year or more. Wow. Um, and our assumption is sort of depressing. Our assumption is that most startups fail, uh, and probably they fail within the first year or two. Um, some take longer, but um, so really what we're looking for is probably the top 20% of our investments that are proceeding or progressing on revenue or customers, or, or at least fundraising, although we prefer yeah. uh, revenue and customer metrics over fundraising. And um, how much do you invest in each? We're usually investors at fifty to $100,000 US on the first check, okay. um, possibly up to two fifty, dollars but usually uh, median investments around 75000 And then on second and third check, um, up to maybe a uh, quarter million, half a million, maybe a million in the future. Right now, our biggest individual check has been half a million dollars. Wow, that's uh, really... That's, we're tiny though, we're tiny. When I started doing angel investing, I, I worked at PayPal for a few years between 2001 and 2004, and when I left, I had a little bit of money, not as much as Peter or Reed or some of the other folks there. Um, and I started doing angel investments between 2004 and 2008, probably about uh, 12 or 13 companies and around $25,000 checks, so pretty small. Yeah. What are um, some of your favorite companies that right now? Well, not favorite. <laughs> I don't like to say favorite. because all, all my children are all children. tall <laughs> and above average and beautiful. <laughs> Um, who, who are you sort of excited about right now? Well, so uh, if I can today, brag a little tomorrow bit. Tomorrow you could be bragging about some if, other ones. If I can brag a little bit. So uh, Wildfire was acquired by Google uh, early this summer for about 350 awesome. million. Awesome. Again, high five. High five. <laughs> um, and uh, Alain and Victoria are two really amazing entrepreneurs, uh, also really great people. And uh, they started out... Uh, at the Facebook incubator program, which I was running for a little bit. Um, actually, they first won their uh, sort of grant before I was taking over and running that program, but made the initial investor investment in their company when I was still working at Founders Fund, and then we also invested out of 500 startups. Wow. 
and they did great. Uh, a couple of other companies that are doing pretty well, uh, Twilio, which is a yeah. platform for voice and SMS. Great. Actually, their conference is happening tomorrow. I'm flying back to the U.S. for that. Oh my goodness! Just uh, a just a short 24-hour <laughs> <laughs> excursion. Not not that big a deal. Um, SendGrid is also doing great. They're doing email deliverability infrastructure. Okay. Uh, billions of messages uh, a month, maybe even a day now. And um, and then TaskRabbit is another company that's great. I am obsessed great. with TaskRabbit. You are. I cool. started using it because I needed to send my friend chocolates, and now I just I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> I use it for like everything. How do you communicate with everyone? Because I heard this rumor that right. maybe through you tweet you tweeted all of your. Um, yeah, well, I, I mean, obviously I can't, I individually can't communicate with, with 400 everyone. companies. Um, so we are, we are a little bit larger than just me. We have an yes, investment well team aware. that's about eight or nine people. Uh, overall team size for the company is about uh, 15 people right now. Um, and we have uh, an online uh, kind of communication system it's called Dashboard that our companies use. It started out as just an email list. Uh, but now it's like a set of online forums, uh, okay. maybe somewhat similar to Hacker News, but more private to just our founders oh, great. and mentors. And we have a large group of mentors also, about 200 people. That's that so we've important recruited. for entrepreneurs, I think. That's a yep. really just sort of key thing. So the thing that we really kind of decided was, you know, we had a idea and investment thesis that, you know, we need to have a large portfolio of companies to be successful. Uh, we have to figure out ways to scale ourselves. And, um, you know, we figured out that we need to design a way that the portfolio can be better the larger it is, not constrained by limited resources. So yeah. part of what we were designing was for network effects and peer-to-peer -peer interactions, both founders to founders and founders to mentors, and try and design an environment where the more founders we have, the better the environment is for them, not the worse it is. So that's kind of a guiding philosophy about things that we try and do is, how do we enable scalability and network effects on the venture capital yeah. side, which I tend to think we haven't really done a very good job at that. Well, that's, I mean, I'm sure other people would speak otherwise, but I mean, I think that's really, I think you're speaking. No, I think we're doing well. I meant oh. the industry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, I think we're awesome. <laughs> what is one thing that nobody knows about you? Uh, that I can tell without getting arrested? Um, <laughs> let's see. Wait. Um, <laughs> What is someone that no one knows about me? Um, I uh, love to sing. Do you really? Actually, probably a lot of people know that about me. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed. Uh, I've been traveling around uh, Korea and China and Taiwan recently, and I've been doing karaoke. And, so fun. Like awesome, and it's people are really into karaoke. Uh, in, in do you want to do you want to sing a song with me oh, right now? Shit, uh, did I just like walk into that? You totally walked <laughs> into it. Unforgettable in every way. Unforgettable. That's how you'll stay. We should stop there. I couldn't even sing along. <laughs> you are a beautiful. It's supposed, to be a, it's supposed to be a duet. No, no, it's not really. <laughs> that was amazing. This is the part we should cut out. <laughs> I'm like the Valley Girl. And I'm like Dave McClure. Nailed it. Totally. Nailed, Nailed it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for your dits moment. Um, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I lost the train of thought there. I lost it too. Um, okay, so uh, we're both very jet lagged, as you can see, probably.